House Republicans say they're going to get to the bottom of the withdrawal from Afghanistan. A committee is planning the first of many hearings on that subject today. The withdrawal left Afghanistan in the control of the Taliban, and 13 U.S. Marines died in the process. Republicans blame the Biden administration for what they say was a botched process. Meanwhile, Democrats say former President Trump himself negotiated the removal. Tom Dempsey has reaction from the chairman of the committee conducting this hearing today. Good morning, Tom. Hey, good morning, Mitch. Yeah, this hearing uh, kicks off at 10 a.m. Eastern time here on Capitol Hill, and it will really serve as sort of a scene setter into why this investigation uh, into the chaotic Afghanistan withdrawal remains needed, at least according to Republicans. And it's going to feature a uh, testimony from several different veterans, including a Green Beret that News Nation spoke to uh, on Tuesday. His name is Scott Mann, and he served three different tours uh, in Afghanistan and also founded Task Force Pine Apple, made up of fellow veterans who volunteered to help evacuate Afghan allies from the country after it fell to the Taliban. Again, News Nation spoke directly with Mann on Tuesday about seeing the disorganized withdrawal and hearing details of 13 Americans dying in a suicide attack while some Afghan allies were left stranded there. He said this issue goes well beyond politics and with some Afghans still in hiding from the Taliban and other fellow veterans continuing to deal every day with mental wounds from the war like PTSD. Later today, man hopes Congress hears the calls for help. Everybody should just own their part of it. You know, the same thing we teach our kids to do, take personal responsibility for your actions and figure out what went wrong. Oh, I just hope that they'll take a page from what the veterans did in this whole thing and set the politics aside, hear our stories, and then lean in and take meaningful action now, the House Foreign Affairs Committee, led by Republicans, will oversee this investigation. This week, Chairman Michael McCall, a Republican from Texas, sent News Nation this statement saying, quote, what happened in Afghanistan was a systematic breakdown of the federal government at every level and a stunning failure of leadership by the Biden administration before he uh, vowed to hold those accountable responsible. And again, as this hearing gets underway at 10 a.m. Eastern time here in D.C., you can expect House Democrats to really zero in on how it was former President Donald Trump who signed off on the agreement with the Taliban for the withdrawal. But again, all politics aside, uh, man, that veteran, uh, the veteran we spoke to saying that uh, he's just looking forward to speaking directly with lawmakers about the experiences in Afghanistan, Mitch. Well, Tom, that's a lot of focus on uh, the what happened in the past in Afghanistan, but the United Nations had an update today on what is happening now in Afghanistan. What do we know? Yeah, very timely report coming out from the United Nations earlier today calling Afghanistan the most oppressive country in the world. In particular, uh, the United Nations saying the Tal Taliban is really uh, taking away basic human rights uh, for women and girls and saying, quote, that the Taliban, you know, is working and almost put a focus on, quote, leaving most women and girls effectively trapped inside their homes. Again, that uh, report came down earlier this morning, very timely with that uh, investigative hearing happening later today, Mitch. Just terrible. Tom, uh, thank you for that update. We hope they get to the bottom of it. Hope things get better in Afghanistan as well. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.